Hey there guys, so we're taking a look at Atomic Heart running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. Now this is running on the B-Link SCR5 mini PC. And I sat here and played through about two hours of the game just to pro progress through it and see what the different types of areas are like. I still haven't gotten to any major exterior areas or anything like that, but throughout the entirety of the experience that I had playing like this, with the lowest in-game graphics settings and FSR set to the balanced preset, the level of performance that we got was really decent. Our 1% lows were at a more than acceptable range and our averages were very high throughout most of the experience. Now, it wasn't absolutely perfect all across the board, but throughout large swaths of of the game that I've played so far, the level of performance is pretty spectacular. And we really don't have to sacrifice much visually speaking to get this level of performance. I think FSR at the balance preset actually does a pretty great job in this game. And it overall does give you a very playable experience throughout huge sections of the game. Even in the most demanding areas, it never ended up bringing the FPS down to a level that I thought was unacceptable. And you were still able to play it throughout the game perfectly fine. Let me show you one of the more intense areas that I actually ended up seeing while playing through this in the last couple of hours on this specific chip. Here you'll see that our FPS average actually does end up dropping pretty significantly in certain areas where our 1% lows go down into the mid 30s. Keep in mind though that this is mostly through scripted cutscenes, but even when you actually make it back into the gameplay, depending on where exactly you're looking on the map itself, it can actually bring the performance down below 60. Now it never ended up dropping down to a range that I thought was unacceptable, so it was still a more than playable experience. But this is one of those titles that would definitely benefit with pairing with a free sync display because those moments that you do fall below 60, you won't really notice them as much if you are using free sync. There is some pretty major variance though in terms of the FPS average that you're going to get throughout a lot of the areas here and where your 1% lows end up dropping. So you will occasionally feel these moments of stutter or almost like a lag feeling because of those dips that you're taking. Taking. but in general it's not enough to really ruin the experience of playing the game itself and a lot of the times the worst level of performance is going to be in segments where you're not even controlling anything it'll just be cutscenes or cinematics things like that where you might see the performance drop down into the 30s but while you're actually playing the game it's usually staying within a range that is far more acceptable but again these are the most demanding areas that i've found so far the vast majority of the game that i've played up until now has just been in, in interior areas where the level of performance is pretty spectacular. In general, this game is proving to be pretty great to play on these APU systems without actually having to sacrifice so much visually speaking that the game is an unusable mess. As I said, the implementation of FSR is actually pretty great in this, and I am very happy to see the results here. And if you've made it this far, I just want to tease to you guys something pretty major that's going to be happening. We're going to be taking a look at this game running not just on the 5560 you, which is the other mini PC that I have, but I may have gotten my hands on a mini PC with a 6600H. That's right, we're going to be taking a look at Atomic Hearts running on RDNA 2 based iGPUs, so stay tuned for that. But if you're interested in picking up the mini PC itself that is running this game right now this well, you can check out those Amazon affiliate links down below, but stay tuned to see just how it stacks up against RDNA 2. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.